Tissa Fontaneda, is that how you yeah. call it? Who is Tissa Fontaneda? It is a handbag brand created by a woman that used to work for the women. Creating a handbag brand that like makes marks is actually really hard. It can come on a high price tag and I think she's gonna achieve that. We're gonna go and have a look. It's a new store. Hi, how are you? Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Lovely to meet you. I'm Carlota, I'm Tisa's daughter. Can you tell us a bit about Tisa? She was the head of the Swarovski store in Paris. And then she continued with Thierry Mugler, so did some collaboration. And then Lueve brought her to Spain, where she was working yeah. as the head of, um, head of accessories for, I think, exactly. nearly 10 years. Honed her craft, I think, there. And then developed this wonderful bubble bag. And what's it made of? I'm longing to touch it, and wow, it feels amazing. This what's is made out of Redfino Lambskin, which is one of the, the most incredible leathers that you can find in the market. Feel, feel, feel. And oh, wow, that is so. And it's light as well. It's melded into the body when you're wearing the crossbody. And they may look a little bit static now, but you wear them. They really adapt to you and the shape. They age really well. Which are the original styles oh, that nice. you had that are now still available? So this style is one of the ones that I've seen there since the beginning. This is the Uptown sack. Then another one is the Simple Matter, which we have here. These two, I would say, are the oldest. Models. And that fabric is so unique. How is that created? This is one of the skins. It's like Blue Peter that was. Here's one I prepared. Anyway. <laughs> Quite a complex process wow. of vapor. The bubbles are sucked out. And it is so complex that it's one of the reasons why we know people are not going to copy us. It's like really it's addictive to touch. Yeah. You just want to push it's them. It's really you. addictive. It's like popping. Um, oh, really yeah. Yeah. That's the only way I can describe it. I love the campaign. Yeah. I love the strap. Yeah. And what's your bestseller? Yeah, I mean, there is a bestseller. This is a gizmo. In everyday, very yeah. easygoing bag people just that's love. Nice. I love that little diddy one, that's so yeah, cute. Yeah. What would be Tisa's favourite? Well, she loves the tango, which is this I bag. love the tango. A little bit that. asymmetric, and you know. So and then the bucket bag. This actually started as a I way to reduce around. the waste of the leather. And you have the whole skin. You need to use the centre and not always the, I would just say the outside, uh, out part of the... Off-cuts. The off-cuts, exactly. Yeah. So this is how she came up with the hatchwork. Yeah. She's going to go with my yeah. outfit. Yeah. yeah, perfect. That's literally me throughout the day. <laughs> so roomy inside. Sure, I like this. How much? 540. I think that's so reasonable. Yeah, and that unique oh, as well. That's gorgeous one. Oh, that goes, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's not a known brand, right? You are paying for the quality of the product, but it's not just the quality. Yeah. It's the quality yeah. of the brand. You are paying for the quality of the product and not necessarily for the name. You into it, Georgie? Yeah, I think it's really nice. It's really, I can't explain, it's so tactile. You yeah. sort of got to touch it to believe it, but it just feels really sumptuous. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's cool, that, isn't it? I almost fit a laptop. That's the yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's kind of like yeah, a really chic good. laptop. Bag. Feeling it? Yeah. It's such a cool shape and fabric, colours and like easy. It's not too rigid or stiff. Oh, which one's your favourite? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, what's your pick of the store, G? Top three. I think this one, this one. I mean, this is my colour, right? And the strap on that's really cool. Probably those. I mean, I'll have them all. Thank you. Lou, what are your top three? This one. Love that shape. This little Diddy gizmo. I think these are the pouches are also really, so I've gone Diddy. Yeah. I think that's so nice. Actually, no, this is really cool. That's four. That's four, sorry. I have to say, you can sense the kind of Lueve credentials yeah. in what she's doing. It's very European, it's quite grown up, but I think it's beautiful. I really appreciate the craftsmanship in it, I think it's beautiful. There are so many brands that are so influenced by each other that start to blend into one style. So to have something that's so unique, and that fabric just feels amazing. It's very chic, very chic. Mm. 